It's Jules here for What Culture here with Scott. Hi. And apologies for not sitting down because we're trying to stay mobile with the news. It's ever changing. Uh, we're talking about Star Wars today because they've just released a new teaser for it. And the word that you described it was unnecessary right, to begin yeah. with. Initial reactions because yeah. of the fact that it doesn't really add much to the di discourse. Or does it? <laughs> because in the three kind of four extra shots they put in, mm -hmm. there is actually some information to be gleaned. So what yes. we're going to do is we're going to talk about them now because you've yes. been sort of getting your tiny little monocle out and looking into the, old, the which, Sith specs. Yeah, the standard Star Wars protocol now, mm -hmm. protocol droid, is to just go frame by frame and see what you can yep, find. Yep. Um, so yeah, I mean, one of the first things is obviously Luke and the Falcon. Um, yeah, which, it's quite a biggie. That one isn't yeah. it? Because I mean, I guess he it shows that he gets off the island at some point. Because well, we don't know because he's on the Falcon on the island. So, yeah, uh, me, me, me. I think the reason that that's in there. Is, I think the um, fact that they powered it up kind of implies they're going somewhere, doesn't it? I don't know, man. I mean, maybe, hopefully, probably. I don't yeah. know. I think the main reason that it's in there, the framing of it is very, is literally the Han Solo shot from Force Awakens. Yeah. So we've got a little bit of like a, a reunite with, between the two of those characters. Yeah, because obviously, even though he does, he doesn't know he's dead. Uh, well, uh, we assume that he might have felt it in the Force or something like that, so maybe. maybe. Um, so that was like one of the first things. I, I, again, do we need to see that, really? Like, I mean... Um, I think I, I think know. just more... Uh, I was looking at more of what he was wearing. Again, the black robe suggesting the duality, like maybe like he's not... He's not a good Jedi. He's confused. Well, he's lost. Like mm -hmm. it's a it's a good visual metaphor for like a visual thing. It was really nicely he done. He does have half of his face covered as well. Yeah, so I mean, like if you're looking at in terms of sort of what the uh, aesthetics dictate for thematics, mm -hmm. then it's quite an interesting thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think I mean we know that this starts out right at the it starts out right after Force Awakens ended. Yeah. So I think this will be him going like, "You arrived in the Falcon. I'm gonna go and check out the Falcon." Yeah. And then <laughs> go down to the beach and just hang out in the Falcon for a bit. And yeah, like for fans and stuff, it's like, oh man, that's the same shot as before. <laughs> I'm just imagining him just like chilling out in the Dude. Falcon just kind of like, oh, it's been a while there. I wonder if that game of chess I've got is still going on. <laughs> that is, isn't there? We yeah, saw, yeah. We saw Finn faffing about with that. Yeah. Um, the other thing um, that I picked out in the background is um, we've seen Snoke's palace now. Um, yeah. Or like Snoke's yeah. sort of main royal guard place and those royal guards. Right. Same dudes. Yeah, that's yeah, very true. The sort of Palpatine guardy sort of. The Palpatinos. But that's it. <laughs> I have a big question, and it's not really related to Star Wars. Who the hell does the interior decorating for these places? <laughs> like, who just goes like, right, I'm thinking black marble mm. and just red lights. It's like, that'll make things very dark. Very dark. It's so, like, yeah, but I'm half burned. I don't want people to see my But face. I want my guys to wear, like, bright red scarlet costumes yeah. with, like, shiny sort of weird little, like, boo bridges for yeah. the stormtrooper. I don't know what that is. Imagine, I don't know. Imagine how knackering it must be to be his guards, just standing there all day, like, Nothing's happening. Uh, <laughs> I, sure, I, sure, I, sure, I sure hope that somebody's doing a panning shot across this room, because otherwise, <laughs> whew, boy, would I feel silly. I West don't know if um, those people, because the, the shot is like a few seconds long. I yeah, don't even know yeah. if those people in the background are people. They could be statues. I or think it, they're people. Or it could be the uh, same type of robots that we've seen being uh, showcased in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, what culture gaming is where we're from. Check out that as well. Subscribe, watch culture gaming, boys. <laughs> so so we've, got, so we've got the Royal Guards in that sort of Royal Palace thing, again, establishing that mm. we're going to be spending more time with Snoke, which yes. is, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. I kind of liked it more of him being the hands off. Um, you didn't even know what size he was until that hologram sort of like flickered in. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, we saw him choking Ray, and she's in the background of the last. Yeah, trailer. it's one. It's just one of those things where is that a vision or is that like a? And I think again, I don't think no, he would no. make himself bigger or smaller because yeah, that was my theory that mm. that was all in Ray's head. But mm -hmm. even then, I don't think he would make himself smaller or bigger than he is. No, I, I just, did love the idea of him being a tiny little Yoda man. Yeah, that would like, be. And quite he can funny. just be that sort of like you know the most powerful dude in the galaxy, but he's tiny. I just like the fact that the Emperor in the original trilogy uh, was just kind of very hands off you mm. didn't see him until kind of really the third movie where he yeah. had a lot of interaction and even then it was very kind of like well you go fight I'm going to go sit down <laughs> over here Do it. so it's like that to me is the type of bad guy that it should be a person who doesn't need to display their power I guess in a way they're trying to sort of subvert it a little bit and have him play like yeah. a more active role but at the same time I, I don't Snoke doesn't do it for me man like not really? yet not, re not yet Okay. Like, I mean, it's just, there's all the potential of him being Darth Plagueis. There's the, I mean, it's lined up to nigh on be Darth Plagueis. Mm. But at the minute, he's just, he's a bald dude in a robe. I wanted more of an alien. I wanted more of a yeah. thing. I desperately want him to be one of the younglings that survived. The younglings? Yeah, from, from way back oh, way. Oh, God, taking his, yeah, he could be the wrath of the fanboys in Carnival. Yeah, and yeah. Like coming back yeah. from that. Um, the next thing that I noticed, um, and I could be totally wrong, um, I think that Finn's flying a snowspeeder in the Battle on Right, Flight, okay. Because um, the bit when he looks up and he goes, wow, I think that. That was hilarious. That's such a callback to Force Wagons. Woo! 
Which is good. I think need a fit. I remember thinking this when I watched The Force Awakens. It's like you just need that reaction. You need a character to say, whoa, it's something in every movie. Yeah, just I think. Have it there. I think it's because that's what the audience is feeling. They're yes. like, oh, it's so exciting. It's just kind of just seeing a character top express that. Yeah. So, right. yeah, I mean, the only shot that we have is a very close up shot of the cockpit. I am, but it doesn't look it doesn't look like an X Wing. I think it's mm. a snow speeder, which confirms that Finn is part of the crate battle, which is the opening scene of the movie, if we're mimicking Empire Strikes Back. Is that is that the one is that the one where it's the um uh, the, the speed is that are dragging up the red dust to confuse the no, ATATs. That's a, is that a I different don't know, place? They're d no, that's the same planet. Same but planet. The, um, the, the weird like fin things with the fins yeah. that are um, kicking up the dust. They're a new um, vehicle. So, so, it, but it couldn't be the top of them going down. Maybe. Might be. It might Maybe. be. It might be. It looks like there's wing. It looks like it has a wing. Next however, to it. however, if we had it as being a snow speeder, like you say, it would uh, echo back to Empire Strikes well, Back, which would be, you know, I mean, this is what this trilogy is setting up to do. It's yeah. saying, here's the nostalgic bits that you like with new characters. One of the biggest questions is going to be whether Finn uh, ties up the legs of an AT-80 and brings it down like what uh, Luke did. I kind of hope he doesn't. I think that that would be a bit too on the nose if they did True. that. But it would be True. quite cool if they still destroyed any like yeah. the, the big ones. I mean, yeah, like yeah, yeah. the biggies. The biggies. Uh, it does seem like it, like my shout would be snow speeder, and the re the reason is I think the cannons that you can see are snow speeder cannons. Oh, so right, that's okay. the level that I'm Fair going enough. to. Fair enough. Um, hopefully, I'm. I mean, I don't even know, so you guys can let me know in the comments. Mm. Um, but that was my initial shout for that. Okay. Uh, the last thing that I noticed was uh, the rain scene at the end. Um, Interesting, that wasn't which, it? Which I mean, I've talked to a few fans and like uh, a few of my mates who are like big fans, and they're like, oh, well, this confirms that like Luke and Ray are fighting each other. Does I don't it, think though? that it does. Yeah. No, not at all. Because to me, I think it's deliberate misdirection. As I mean, the other trailer it's was. called editing. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> called editing. And I think um, I think Luke is looking up at Kylo. I think that scene is actually the Knights of Ren scene. I think you're right. From I really when do. the betrayal happens. So yeah, uh, yeah that, that's my shout for that. I think the the, the rain and the way that mm. that scene shot the um, composite. Compositing of that scene, mm -hmm. composition of that mm -hmm. scene, mm -hmm. uh, it's very indicative of the flash forward potentially that Ray has. Flashbacks I, mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would like to see uh, there be a training sequence between uh, Luke and I was going to say Leia, Luke and Ray, um, uh -huh. that um, basically shows her getting angry, knocking him down, and then him yes. being like, "Look, okay, you've got to let go of that anger." Mm -hmm. However, that's not to say that it couldn't lead from one into the other and be all true. So it could be Ray knocks down Luke. He says, "Stop." Mm -hmm. Has a flashback because it's like the exact same thing that happened with Kylo, Maybe. and then goes back. Could be. The only thing that I've got as possible evidence to go against this theory that it's um, like a flashback or it's not actually in that moment mm -hmm. is that we see Luke collapse to his knees while looking at the Jedi, his Jedi Academy burning, and it's yes. not raining then. Uh, so, no, so, it's not. So, so that implies maybe he's come back to find it destroyed. Oh. That's the only thing I'm saying. Like that's that's a good spot though. Might be. That was, oh god. The thing with, that's another thing. If you get lost in analyzing frame by frame, yeah, I mean, the yeah. thing with the the, the Dead Eye Temple burning when it then shows Phasma coming through, it's mm -hmm. a smooth floor. It's a different location. Yeah. So who? And I don't who even knows, know if Rain's there either. So yeah, could be a matter. could be a completely different. If those thing. those were the four things that I picked out. What was what was your initial reaction anyway? We haven't even talked about what was um, your, I do thought, you like it or not. I, I did. I, I mean, to be honest, I think I prefer the uh, the other trailer more. However, Same, the yeah. one thing that I will say that they have definitely fixed is the gap between it. This won't end the way you want it to. <laughs> like that, that that massive pause that they had between yes. in between those two. I'm glad they've closed the gap mm -hmm. between that now. They so. um yeah they sort of hammer home like the whole like leave the past behind like Kylo mm -hmm. destroying his helmet and blowing up the ship and whatever. It's a more, more fast paced thing. I mean it's only like 45 seconds long. Glad that they've um, actually focused less on Leia as well. I think that that was possibly a bit of emotional overkill because mm. obviously we know that Carrie Fisher had died just pretty pretty soon before that trailer release and then it was kind of like. Okay, are they just hammering home the fact that she's not going to be in this one? Yeah, oh, yes, she is. Like, but but this one only had one shot, and I was just kind of like, that's all you really need. Do you know what was in there as well? What? Oh, Pogs. poor. <laughs> bloody Pogs, mate. Right, that's it. So that's been our Star Wars teaser trailer analysis. Pogs, not even going to address this one. I just oh. don't like them. I've been Jules. This has been Scott, the Pog lover. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. Let us know what you've, you've got any sort of like fan theories as well. If you think that we're right, if you think we're wrong, we don't care. We read all the comments anyway. Though. Give us some poor glove. Then go back to whatculture.com for more news and articles like this every goddamn day. Then go to Twitter at whatculture. Subscribe there. Tweet us. Let us know what's going on. See you soon. Bye bye. I'm falling into a hole. Bye. Bye. bye.